Hello everyone and welcome to on the channel and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a Dawncraft server. Now for 1.18.2 of course there is a issue with Forge and that issue is that you can't really create a Forge server through Feather Client and Feather Client helps uh, port forward it without you having to do much. So of course a lot of people like to use Feather Clients but they can't use the Forge because it's just a lot of complication, right? What I like to do is I like to use a server jar from something else that isn't Forge, right? This is Magma, and as you can see, um, it actually allows for plugins plus mods, but we only need to use the mod, so download the latest version. So back on the Feather Clients right here, we have Custom Jar, and then we put 17, because that's 1.18 has 17 Java used. Slots, I don't really care. You just put whatever slots you need. RAM, put out how much ever RAM you would need for Dawncraft. I think maybe around like if you have 16 gigs of RAM, six gigs of RAM for the server and then six gigs of RAM for Dawncraft would be an ideal situation. Um, if you need more RAM for either orb, you would swap it out. But don't use too much of your computer RAM if you're running the server and also playing on it. Launcher arguments, you can use this to maximize your server performance. You can look online for launcher arguments to see which one is best for your server. So of course there's a name. There is a server IP. Uh, this is the IP that I use, so you know, for, for practice servers and all that stuff. Save. Now, here is where things get more complicated. I will click on the gearbox here. I will click on open folder. This right here is your server folder. Now, I actually have it already set up, but long story short, if I were to delete this, it would be uh empty, right? This would be, this would be how it looks like. It's just empty, right? Now, this server is folder right here. You have to drag in the magma uh, file into here and then, you know, all that stuff and then run the server at least once. So I already did all that part, part of it, you know, now here comes the interesting part. All right. So the next part that I'm going to be doing is going to be very complicated. So be sure to really look through this video. If you're not familiar, Dawncraft doesn't have a server pack and a server pack is necessary for launching up Minecraft on a server. So go to CurseForge and once you launch up CurseForge, Go to Dawncraft. So right here, I'm in Dawncraft and you hit the three dots, get open folder, and then you copy basically from the config down to the scripts. Um, maybe the resource pack isn't needed, but basically just copy these uh, files right here and move it over here. And then you can launch the server up, but there's going to be a crash no matter what. So listen to what I'm saying for this next portion, because this portion is really critical. What makes Dawncraft so complicated without the server pack is that it doesn't have like all the client side mods removed from the server. And that's needed to be removed because if you remove all the client side mods from the server, the server can run smoothly. So basically what I'm saying is a lot of the performance mods that are client side, such as Rubidium, you have to remove from here. And basically I'll give you a few lists real quick. So first off, there's this list right here. So I want you to go through the entire list right here and see if Dawncraft has a lot of uh, mods that had, you know, from this list that are client side and just remove it from the mod pack. And even that will not be enough. I will show you the mods that aren't in this list in just a second, but any mod from here, right? Remove it from the server so that the server can run smoothly. And then occasionally you're going to be running the thing to see crash reports. And these crash reports are really important to know where like the other mods are for uh, like client side arena related. Basically what I did was that I took a look at some of these crash reports. Here we have not enough animations. This is a client side mod. So you scroll down for to here. And you see the mod, not of animations, details, whatever. And then basically you just do it the same for each individual crash report. And so there's one for compass coordinates. And after I delete the compass coordinates, I believe the server actually worked. So let me actually run this again. And so right now I'm going to be running the server without the client side mod installed. And yeah, as soon as it launches up, it's going to show that it's done. And we were launching up Dawncraft to see if it works. It should work pretty smoothly, considering that I've only removed the client side mods that are only affecting your client, not the server. Hopefully everything goes swimmingly. I'm going to launch up Dawncraft and I'm going to join the server. All right, so I actually have the server here. So I'm going to join it and we're going to go right into this. So as you can see, it's showing the world right now and it 
is good. So it actually works pretty freaking well. And it's actually really smooth. And yeah, just overall, it works. That's all you really need to do for you to have a Dawncraft server. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, like the video, want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And remember to be top and be top all guys. Next video, take care and good.